What's going on guys, my name is Steve from 24 Games and we're going to do some building. We're going to do some building on this clinic slash hospital building over here. Um, if you haven't watched the first kind of part of this where I kind of take you through what I've done so far, check that out. If you have, let's get in and the first thing we're going to be doing is fixing the outside. because. That's the best place I find to start when working with buildings like this um, is to fix the outside as you can see the back here definitely needs quite a bit of fixing and also in the roof kind of area we're going to fill in and put some boards on there and hopefully it looks pretty cool when we're finished with it. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is probably fill in this window and this gap actually down by here. So let's jump on down and get the building we don't need beds at all the first thing we're gonna need is we need some wood i think i already know what i'm actually gonna use for this bit i'm thinking of either using maybe this or is it that one i think it's that one or maybe this one it's kind of a little bit more holy yeah, if you're wondering how I'm placing stuff inside walls and stuff like that, I'm using the place everywhere mod. And another thing it allows me to do is do this. Using the numpad and using one on the numpad allows me to place stuff inside the walls. I'm trying to make it look like the wood is not kind of too weird and I think that's kind of looking a bit too weird um, might have to bring it out quite far like that um, yeah it kind of works I wanted the kind of skeleton still showing through and that's why I wanted to use something like that also you can kind of see the candles showing through and I might actually put either a lantern or some more candles by there but the next thing we got to check one doing these kind of wall bits and doing anything really is is it looking okay on the other side and actually um this is probably going to be covered up and that's not too big of a deal but it does it works on this side it doesn't look kind of too random and too messed up um something i've noticed as well look this is one too wide okay we've got this huge massive section by here I've noticed this a lot with these buildings over here already, ready? It's only one. See, this bit is meant to be basically see-through, but it's not. And we got this random little kind of hole, actually no, it's blocked on the other side. But yeah, I've noticed that quite often when I've been building, I've kind of filled in gaps one on the other side and was like, why does it look as good on this side as it did on the other side? And the simple fact is, it just wasn't lining up properly because it was different gaps on both sides. I might just go with the kind of wood bit by here. Um, I want it to kind of look like it's kind of just been nailed to the wall itself. I don't know if that's shrunk in too much. No, it kind of works. It does kind of work. But does it work on the other side? That's the question you've got to ask yourself every time um, it, it works we're getting lucky so far we don't always get this lucky though <laughs> sometimes it just takes like half an hour just to line up one goddamn wall but we've got pretty lucky we filled in two kind of little gaps and the roof bit is the harder bit because stuff is not kind of squared and you can't just shrink it into the floor because there's no floor in it kind of just goes down so let's actually deal with all the walls first and then we'll move on to the floor itself. Do I want to fill in this? I want to use something that isn't too kind of filling in. Yeah, here we go. I wanted something that kind of keeps the window. Look. I'm not too sure if I liked it. I kind of like that actually. Not too sure on the other side because I kind of pushed in quite a bit. No. This house seems to be work quite good. I don't know why. Working quicker is candles. Mm. Candles are kind of being a little bit mashed up on that side. 
But no, you can't really notice it. It kind of annoys me a little bit. Can I deal with that wood though? What is more annoying, that wood or... To be honest, you're probably not going to see that side as much. If I wanted to, I can place an object outside to cover that up. Um, anyway. So yeah, and the next thing we're going to do is move some stuff around. Uh, uh, table right here. Not too sure why I'm going to... This is what I kind of do when I move inside. Actually, I shouldn't start moving inside. I'm getting carried away. I need to finish off building around the back side of this place. Am I okay with this? Kind of. But I still want to um, add some sort of protection to it. So I'm probably going to go with some fence. Turn off that. I can't see, no, it's not. And say, because obviously you can see the outline of it, it's inside the wall, I couldn't see if it was actually showing through outside or not. That kind of works with that kind of bit of wood as well. The candles are fine. Um, yeah, it kind of works. If you're wondering why this is a clinic, um, I didn't randomly pick this as a clinic. I picked it as a clinic because of the Halloween decorations. I know that sounds a bit fucked up, but because it was kind of like all death and everything anyway, I thought it kind of makes sense in a weird fucked up way to make it into a clinic. And probably for this section over here, or for this part, I'm probably going to use these. Big thing with these um, junk fences where I've noticed, the best ones to use is this one and the that one. Sometimes this one. Basically the ones that haven't got this kind of round bad word, bad wire fence on the top because that kind of seeks through a lot and also ones that have tires on. I've noticed the tires kind of glitch through the walls quite a lot, even these kind of little ones on the side and it kind of makes it look a little bit weird. You could probably have them on the sides a little bit like this. Um, that could work. But there's quite a big gap on it actually. I'm not too sure about, as you can see, they kind of glitch through the wall down there, which I'm not okay with. You, Some of you might be fine with that, but for me, it's a no-no. I kind of want to keep a window area over this side, and I'm not actually I'm probably going to use that one right by there. Do I want all of this kind of show through, or do I want to like this? Instead of me going all the way around, I should just glitch through. I kind of like that. It kind of works. Um, that's a bit annoying. As you can see, there's certain areas. Actually, no, it's not blocked off on that side either. And say there's certain areas that are blocked off and not blocked off on the other side. I was wrong. But I can easily block that up anyway using the fences in miscellaneous up here. We can maybe use one of these. That kind of works. It looks alright. And for the window itself, I already knew what I was going to use. I think using wood. No, it's a density thrown up. I'm still kind of getting used to the layout. Because I've been using mods for so long, I'm so used to um, it being laid out all differently. And that kind of works. Does it work on this side? Yes, it does. Uh, we just kind of need to fill in a section. I'm probably going to use this one. See if it works. I need to go all the way to there. Am I going to do the same thing? Am I going to... Ooh, that kind of works. No, it doesn't, because that wood bit is annoying me. That might work, because you can clearly see it's the sections kind of cut there. Hmm. 
I'm not 100% on it. But maybe. I don't really like this. It's the only downside to it. But I kind of like this. I like the way it looks. Um, so I might keep it like this because I'm going to be filling in this wall section by here anyway. And I can kind of put a cupboard or something up against there to kind of block the kind of imperfection or whatnot. So let's actually go back to the wooden fences. And do we want to do another window like that? Do we want... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Kind of like that. It's a lot easier to work with these ones. And it is them. Another cool thing you can do with these as well, if you want to break up a wall, if you're using... Say if you built like a whole section of the same wall, say... If we can get our way back to it. Say if you use this wall a lot. Because you wanted it to look like this. And you needed to break it up. You just take something like. Say this. Or you can take something like this. It's kind of like a little bit more 3D if you look on the sides. And you slightly place it inside it. It works. Kind of works. It didn't really want the outline, but you can kind of get the idea if you kind of place it in like that. You can use it to break up the wall itself. Obviously, it'll work better with that other wooden wall because you, you don't have to worry about those kind of support beams seeping through. Oh, and it's kind of filled in that hole as well without even knowing. So, I might have to just leave it there. But yeah, that's a kind of quick, like, easy way to break up kind of huge sections of the same bow and old wall. And you can even use these as well to kind of have the wood bits kind of seeping through. If I swap it around, it might work better on the other side. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. How am I going to block this? I'm thinking of maybe using this. We don't even have to use all of it. Ooh, kind of got a little gap down by there as well. So what we could do is go... Maybe like that. Oh, decorations are a bit weird. Let's kind of block in. Just kind of little section off as well. Um, and I'm kind of okay with this little gap. And what we could do if he's bugging us that much um, is just chuck one of these quickly there. Check it before we wreck it. And boom. Looks pretty good. We kind of got this hole in kind of here and actually we got a gap as well. It's just kind of a bit glitchy out by there. So, what we're going to quickly do with that is use one of the half walls like this. And kind of covers it up. What does it look like on the other side? It looks actually really good. Uh, apart from that bit. Another thing you can do with the place anywhere mod is actually using the arrow keys on the numpad you can actually kind of shift it side to side as well don't think that's kind of going to work here um, and kind of yeah does it work on the other side still it works on the other side still so i am okay with that to show what's going on with this gravel that's actually really annoying. Um, I can't even remove it. So we're going to have to cover that up. Probably with this sofa. So yeah, let's go ahead and 
kind of put these chairs away in there. I, I need to deal with this before moving on because that's going to let the shot on me. Just as a reminder that I need to deal with that crap. Yeah, so, so far we've kind of blocked off these sections over here. And it's looking okay. This was already here from last time. And we blocked off this window, that's a little bit annoying. But what we can quickly do down by here is actually, what can we use? What can we use to cover this? You know what we could do to kind of show you um, of how I kind of work with these. We actually get out of this. Um, with place anywhere, we can use the mouse buttons um, to actually rotate. We don't actually select it, we just kind of hover over it and we can kind of remote rotate it with both mouse buttons. But if we hit control, you can see up in the top left, it changes the axes. So if we kind of change that to the different axes, and then we can actually place that. Up against there. And guess what? That kind of annoying little bit of wood. It's gone. And it's kind of added a little bit more detail to it. So we've kind of sectioned off these walls. And it's working. It's working. Works on the inside. And most importantly, it works on the outside. So now the roof bit. And for most most of the roof as you can see the roof over the other side is not too bad um, because you haven't got these massive gaps we kind of had one by there but I filled it in it's not too bad so the first thing we're going to do is actually place some flooring down if you're wondering why I'm constantly like in my camera looking over it's because my camera is like banging in front of me and that's where the um, uh, menu kind of system for these items are it's kind of banging my way probably gonna use this flooring yeah it's kind of solid does this job let's kind of get inside here um, the hardest thing now is making it line up let's fly in my room okay And then what we can actually do is, I'm pretty sure, if I didn't click through, I can stand on these flooring and not actually fall through the roof itself. And if I turn on snapping, oh, it was already on. Um, I can actually start snapping these away. Um, and now I'm stuck outside the roof. So let's go right down. Yeah, and you kind of get the idea of where I'm going here. I'm probably going to... Actually, no. I should be able to use these ones. Because there's a garage thing by here. Yeah, it, it works. Um, I kind of need to get back up. Into here. And... Ooh, maybe on the back side I'm going to need to use smaller ones but hey that's why we got these smaller ones for I always hate placing these guys on smaller ones never seem to go where you want them to go and now I've kind of glitched out with the roof but that gives me a good idea because I need to kind of ooh see the problem is right over here too far but that's fine because lovely thing about place anyway we can kind of just glitch on to be honest, ah, we can kind of use them. I would say we don't actually need these, but we can kind of still use them. Because we've got some problems with the roof over here. But yeah, let's start placing these along here. And find where? Can we find where? I don't want to glitch outside the roof again. Play some. Oh, there you go. 
The trick as well, if you can't get it to click to the right one, we can actually use no clip. And if we no clip these, it's not going to try and actually snap to them. But we're still going to have the problem of trying to get it to go the right way. I don't know whether it's a trick to actually get it to face a certain way. If there is, it would be a massive help if uh, someone lets me know because I have no clue. But yeah, there you go. So let's just double check the outside, the outside, the outside. Um, you can kind of see it coming down a little bit, but here, oh, that's kind of, that's kind of a little bit shitty. But we can do that. It's fine because it lines up at the end of this wood as well. Um, with that wooden beam kind of going across the top, I'm kind of fine with that. Because it goes with these kind of wooden fences around here. Let's have a look on the front side. Same with that. Because of where it is, where it is, where it is, I'm kind of okay with the way it looks. Because they're going to be placing wood actually and stuff on top. And it's not too bad, it doesn't actually come out too far. Um, side is fine, it comes out a little bit below, but it's kind of a mess by there anyway, so it's fine. Over here, just a little bit. Um, kind of okay with that, because I can. I'm okay with that, I'm not really okay with that. I lied. I might actually just leave that gap um, and just fill in maybe this section down here. I need to fill in that gap. I kind of need to fill in that gap because of underneath here. Yeah, the most important thing about <coughs> sorry about that. I'm still quite ill. Um, the most important thing about doing this to the roof is, for the simple fact. It actually gives you a roof because there's a lot of holes and crap. And I could use the roofs um, if we go back to here. Yeah, we could use these because we have a flat one here. But if we go outside and look up, it has a ton of holes in it as well. And I don't like that look. You might like that look. And that's cool. But I kind of like the more solid wooden kind of look. It works for me. And yeah. I think that's. It's pretty toasty, pretty toasty. It's all working. Just need to finish off the roof bit now. And then we should be laughing. Laughing, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so let's, how are we gonna tackle this roof? Um, might just use junk fences for the one bit. For like, So I'm thinking I kind of <laughs> don't really like that at all. No, 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 no. But what we can do is actually shrink these down. Okay, that looks better. Not a hundred percent with it, but it looks better. But the main thing is, how far has he leaked through the floor? And it actually hasn't. No, it's actually fine. Well, no. Kind of don't mean like that. But it's okay, because it kind of goes with the structure beams and stuff anyway. So it works. I could probably make it a little bit smaller, but I don't really want to. Um kind of want to fill in this section and what I'm thinking of maybe I haven't actually done this yet but maybe it'll work is actually using one of these roof section bits what's that look like I kind of like that I kind of like that blue it really kind of adds to the look because it sticks out I think that works 
I really actually do like that. What's it look like? It looks fine in here as well. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm really happy with that actually. So it really does stick out. Um, I think now. I don't want to go too overboard with it now and actually just place crap everywhere. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry for my sexual sounds. But I think. I think that could work. Yeah, it kind of works. The whole thing is not making stuff look perfect. Um, yeah, that works. It's kind of making it look like someone built this shit in uh, no apocalypse with limited resources and basically whatever they could get their hands on. And that's what it's basically like. And if you look on the top right, the size of the settlement, I'm basically nearly maxed out on just these two buildings. And that kind of gives you a scale of how much crap I actually use when it comes to the full build. Um, and that's why I say sometimes that I can't do much more because my computer is probably going to explode. It's probably not, it just makes stuff lag. And I had a, I, like with the castle build, I had some really shitty problems. I was logging in and it's just lagging the hell out. Um, I'm messing up. But yeah, I think for the outside of this thing, I'm probably going to end it here. So I think that's a good kind of place to stop. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this garage area. I just kind of block off the back. Who knows? But yeah, for the actual kind of covering up the outside, I know it's not loads I've done. This basically shows you exactly kind of and the process I do stuff and how I build stuff and how I kind of tackle stuff and what I do um, and how long it actually takes me because this was actually done pretty quick normally it takes me longer because certain stuff doesn't work out right and there's probably some gaps done it actually I'm not too I'm okay with this gap do you know why I'm okay with this gap I'm gonna tell you why I'm okay with this gap because we have this guy over here selling stuff and he's like I need more stuff and he comes over to here and this is kind of like his supply kind of thing. So when people are like, I need my prescription. And he comes over here and this is the little prescription window. And he gets the prescription and he comes over here and he gets it. Kind of makes sense. There you go. So the idea of why I didn't cover up that hole. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it works. It works. Looks pretty good. It's got a red door because it's a clinic, obviously. <laughs> it wasn't because he was already there. <laughs> um yeah it's working it's working so thanks for watching guys if you like this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye